Hi, everybody. I hope you're having an awesome summer. I know a lot of us are getting ready to go back to school and for tons and tons of teachers out there, it means you are going to be a virtual teacher. I've had a lot of people ask me how I've made my tutorial videos and videos that I used in the, in the spring to teach my students. So I just wanted to do a very, very fast rundown of how I do it so that you can do this too. It's really easy. First, I'd like to mention that most of my videos, I used Screencastify. During the quarantine period, they had a free unlimited minutes um, recording for your screens. Now that time has kind of passed and they've gone back to limiting you to five free minutes, which for me, most of my videos go beyond five minutes. So I've switched to using Zoom. And a lot of us have used Zoom for video conferencing or conferencing with students. And it's very easy and this is a free option with no limits. So if you're interested, follow along. I'll be doing this on my MacBook Air, so it's going to look a little bit different if you don't have an Apple computer. Just bear with me. I am doing everything on Google Chrome, so you can get that on any type of computer. So let's go ahead. The first thing you need to do is just open the internet and go to zoom.us, and I already have it open right here on my screen, zoom.us. Once you are there, you will see in the top right corner, it says sign up, it's free. I would walk you through that process. However, I already have an account. So what you need to do now is click on this orange button, go through the process of signing up, pause this video, and once you are in, then we can continue on. If you already have an account, we are gonna go ahead right into our meetings. Once you're logged in, it should take you to the My Meeting screen automatically. But if it doesn't, on the left-hand side, you can see Meetings is one of the options. You can click there and get to this screen. So this is very easy. All you need to do is click on this button on the right-hand side. Actually, don't click. You're just hovering. Host a meeting. The three options with video, without video, and then screen share only. I always do with video on. That is how in my videos, you can see me in the corner. If you don't want to see yourself and you only want to present the screen, you can do screen share only, or you can do video on and then turn the video on and off throughout your video, however you need to use it. So I would do with video on. Now this may prompt you then to create or to download the application. I will be moving forward with the application version from here. So if you choose not to download the application, you will just continue with the process through Google Chrome. So when I click with video on, right here I have this option and it asks me if I can open Zoom. I already have it downloaded. Again, if you do not have it downloaded, you'll need to pause the video. Right here, it says download and run Zoom. You'll click on that and let it go through the process of downloading and then come back here. If this pop-up doesn't come up, you can click on launch meeting down here. So what you are going to do is click open Zoom U.us. And for me, I check this off so that I don't get this notice every time. When I say start a meeting, it opens right up. Once I do that, we will be right open in our video. For obvious reasons, I can't record myself on Zoom joining a Zoom session because I'm already in one. So what I've done is I've taken screenshots of the process and I'll just walk you through it. So once you are here and you click on the join a meeting button, it is going to then take you here where you need to sign in. Now you just create an account. You can use that one or I always sign in with Google because I have a Google account. It makes it very easy, but you can use either one. If you already have a Google account, that's just always an option if you want just the ease of access. Once you are there, thank you for working with me here, you will get to this screen. It's opening in the application. So this right here is actually the app and you can see down here on the bottom here, you can see that it's now open through the Zoom app. What you'll do is once you're here, this is kind of like their home screen for the app. Once you click on start, it's going to then ask you some questions. Again, this is on a Apple computer. So if you're using a different type of computer, your messages might look a little bit different. But what you need to know is that you need to grant access for the microphone and the camera for Zoom. 
So that will walk you through that on the Apple computers the same way as it is on mine. Whoops, I'm kind of in the way. So once you click on start, it'll open the meeting and walk you through all of those permissions. For me, it's join with computer audio. If you see on the bottom down here, it says join audio and there's a red slash through start video. When there is a red slash, it means that video is not on. So all you'll do is click on these little arrows for both audio and video to choose to mute yourself, to show yourself or to share your screen. So what we will do now is I am going to live click on the join with computer audio and walk you through how to actually record yourself and share your screen. So if you're with me when you're doing this, you will click on join with computer audio and start your session. If you see yourself, congratulations, you've done it. You've downloaded Zoom and you've started a meeting. If you're having trouble seeing yourself, make sure again that you check that you've allowed permissions in the settings of your computer for Zoom to have access to the microphone and to the camera. You do need a webcam, so some of those you need to attach depending on your computer. Mine is in the computer. So again, down here, if you don't want to be heard, this is the mute option. I can go here and change all the different settings for audio. And then again, you can change your video settings sometimes depending on where you are. You want to turn off your video and just present something else. Now, the purpose of this video was to answer a specific question on how do I record a video of myself teaching something where I'm sharing a screen and I also have my video on the screen too of myself which is what I've been doing this whole tutorial. And this is very, very easy. All you need to do is click down here where it says share screen. When you click on this, it'll give you the different options of what type of screen share you want. I always do desktop, so it'll show my whole screen. So remember, if this is going to students, make sure you are careful about what is on your screen, tabs that you have open, files that you have saved. So click on share and it will open up the, your whole desktop that is behind your Zoom screen, which is what it just did for me. So this is what I have open. Now here's my little video over here. You can move it around wherever you like, and it doesn't stay fixed, which means once you start the video, if you find that this little camera or this little image of you is in the way, you can just move it out of the way like that. The last step, now you are showing students your screen so you can interact with it if you wanna show them how to go on a website. You can do all of that right here. Now, to record this so that you have the video file to then share with your students later, you will go to this little drop-down menu. And again, I don't know how it looks on everyone's computers, but you will find the Zoom menu. When you click on More, Mine says pause recording or stop recording. Yours will also have the option to start recording. As soon as you hit start, it will be recording. It will show that this little red dot right here and your screen sharing will always show this big green bar just to remind you. If you decide that you wanna go back to just your own video, you can click on stop share and it will just go back to this screen. If you are sharing your screen, and you decide that you don't want your video on there anymore, maybe you're sharing a video on YouTube or something else to your class, you don't want your screen on, you can stop your video at any time just like that. So it's very easy, very simple. The last step is that when you are done, you will click stop share, and then you will click on stop recording. So you can either click on the stop recording button, or when you end your call, it will automatically stop the recording and it will begin to download as soon as you end your call. Now just be careful where you save it when you download it. I always save it to my desktop so that it's available and easy to find for me. And then I go into my own editing apps to change it if I want to. From there, you decide how you want to publish those videos. I'll show another video later about how I use iMovie to edit my videos. Um, but that's coming later for right now. I hope this was helpful. Remember that when you end the video, it will prompt you to go through the process to download your file, which has the whole video in itself. And that is the gold. That is what you will take and use to send to your students once you have your finished piece. 
All right, I hope this was helpful. Um, leave a comment if you have any questions. I try to respond as best as I can, but also check and see if others have asked questions that you have to. Have a great day.